There was a time that Matt got so angry with me that he threw pottery at our fireplace and broke it in order to intimidate me. And then as he was ranting and raving, I told him that I would call the police if he didn't stop. And then he said to me, well, if you call the police, I'm gonna beat the out of you because I'm not gonna get arrested again unless I really deserve it this time. I do love Matt. I just fear him at the same time. Let me ask you about something that happened because this sequence of events is highly significant to me. Mm -hmm. And I, I, so I wanna know the facts about what happened here. Things were not going well without going into specifics and that pottery started getting thrown. And this was one of the times that he threatened to beat you up. He started throwing things at the fireplace. Then I said, if you don't stop, I'm gonna call the police. He says, well, if you do that, then I'm gonna beat the because I'm not going to jail again unless I deserve it. And then um, he... Now at this point, it was this fight that you're holding your newborn. Yes, I had her in my arms and he took the baby from my arms because when we start arguing, one of the really sensitive buttons for Matt is the fact that when we're arguing and I wanna leave, and I generally wanna take my baby with me because I enjoy having my child with me, but he gets very threatened because he's afraid I'm gonna to do to him what Mindy's done to him. Did he take that baby from you and say, you are not going to feed this baby your milk? He made some reference to that and threw the bottle of milk at me. And you had to agree not to touch the baby? For a while, until things calmed down and he could trust that I wasn't gonna take off with her. And he threatened to beat you? Well, the, that threat was prior, earlier that evening. Right. I'm, I'm very concerned for you and about you. Okay. Seriously, because I, I am suspect that you, you have an impulse control problem. I think you have a lot of triggers and people around that know how to push your buttons. And I think things seem like a really good idea to you at the time. And you're all in. Now, well, adapt, go ahead. adapt, overcome, improvise, and accomplish a mission. That's. Yeah, well, we're not at war here. This is a family. <laughs> I, you know, it was a different, it's a different setting. You take that there, you do this here. <clears throat>